Hey everybody, welcome to Algo Prep Master, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a stock tracker app, an app that when you put in a ticker of a stock from the stock market, it would give you the price of that ticker and give you a recent news of that ticker. And in order to create that app, we're going to have to fetch data. Now we're going to fetch data from two different free APIs that I'm going to include the link in the description for the endpoints. And I'm also going to include where you can get your uh, free API key because all you have to do is just sign up to those websites. You get your API key and then you put it in the code. Uh, and that what basically lets us get all that data. Uh, so if you're ready to go, all we have to do right now is just grab your laptop, uh, open Visual Studio Code, and we can start coding. So the first thing that we're going to do is start a new terminal. And in the terminal, we're going to create a new expo app, uh, npx create expo app, and we're going to call it stock tracker. Um, and we're going to wait until the app is going to install now uh, after it's installed we're gonna cd, CD stock tracker uh, once we're inside the folder we're gonna type expo start two dashes lan from now uh, what we need to do is go to the android studio and start our emulator and by the way I'll leave a link in the description on how to set up the emulator with Android Studio so you could uh, write Android apps uh, with React Native um, but now we're just going to wait until it loads it's gonna bundle it to the JavaScript and if it's your first time doing it it will probably download the Expo app for you uh, but wait until it says open app.js to start working on your app. Now we're going to import the use state and use effect hooks uh, to manage the component state and a life cycle respectively. The view, text, text input, button, scroll view, and linking components are imported from the React Native module. Next, we're going to set up a variable for the API key that will be used to fetch the stock price data. Now we're going to initialize four state variables using the use state hook. Uh, symbol is a string that's initialized to apple. Uh, price is initially set to null. Loading is a boolean initialized to false and news is an array initialized to an empty array next we're gonna create the function that's gonna handle the symbol input changes So this is the part where we're going to fetch the data. We're going to create the function that's going to fetch the stock price and the news data. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is going to work with the alpha vantage API. So I'm going to include the API endpoints as well as there is a GitHub repository in the description of this video um, so all you have to do is go to alphavantage.com uh, that's co and uh, create a user and they'll give you a free api key and for the news api we're going to use a news api.org i'm gonna leave a link in the description for that as well Now we're going to use the use effect hook to call the handle refresh press function when the component mounts. 
now we're gonna render the logic of our app um, we're gonna return a view component with two child components a view and a scroll view the first child view contains a text input for entering a stock symbol a button to trigger a refresh of the stock data and a text component that displays the stock symbol and its price the second child scroll view displays a list of news articles related to the stock symbol each article is rendered as a view with a text component for the article title and description and a button to open the full article url All right, so all that's left now is just to enter the API keys, uh, add them into the code, and then we can refresh our app and try it. And as you can see, we can see the stock prices and we can also see the articles. So this is a basic implementation of a stock tracker app uh, using React Native uh, on Android right now, which is... Uh, pretty interesting to me i love android development so i hope you guys could learn something new out of this tutorial and i hope it helps and if it did help uh, hopefully you could subscribe and leave a thumbs up until the next one everybody thank you for watching the video peace out